Hi guys, so I'm actually filming this because I'm very irritated right now. I just drove all the way to the fucking DMV, which is literally a good, oh, I'd say 30 minutes from my house, just to be told that um, I need my birth certificate and I had didn't fucking have it on me. So now I gotta drive all the way home. Yep, all the way home to get a fucking birth certificate. But I stopped and got Taco Bell because I'm literally a fat cunt. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this delicious box. So I got the nacho fry box. This isn't the best like angle for me. I kind of look, let me see if I can like fix it because I think I look a little scary. Is that better? Fuck. I need like one of those things that they have that when you drive, it's like a GP. Okay, that's better. Okay, so yeah, I'm like so irritated and I cannot even believe that that happened. But I get to try these nacho fries and I've never tried them. I'm so scared, ready? There's, they're literally just like dipping a fry in the cheese. I like their cheese though. I'm so good. These are good. Um, so yeah, I was going to get my new license and um, just like update my life, like my gender change and everything. So yeah, I'm super excited. Um, mm, I also got in the box, it's like a five layer burrito. Fucking bomb. And if I'm not fat enough, a chicken um, Doritos Locos, which I haven't really had in forever, but it's really good. Mm. I just spilled it in my lap. In my lap. So, basically, I'm super excited about my new ID. It's the last thing I have to do. I got my social. Well, I have to get my passport too, but I like never leave the country, so. That there's no huge rush but the license thing I did want to like make sure I did this week because I got a new job at a restaurant and they they need my ID because like they have to pay me for training so um I didn't want to give them my old ID because like nobody there's only two people I know that that knew me from like before I transitioned and they're super, they would like never tell anyone. Cause I kind of just want to like start fresh. Like I don't want anyone to know my past. So that's why I'm kind of excited to like start there. Um, ew, sorry. But yeah, so I'm excited because I just want a fresh start, you know? Just like nobody knows my past. People can meet me as who I am. As who I was always supposed to be, you know? That's just like how I see it. These are really good. <laughs> At first, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like them. They're bomb. Um, what else is new in my life? I thought I lost. I was like, where'd my burrito go? What's new in my life? Oh, um, so I have been, um, I've been, I kind of like lost some friends. Not like lost friends, but. And we had my this girl stop talking over something dumb. Um, and it's just like, I mean, whatever. If people are going to, like, get mad at you for stupid shit, like, that's when you know they're, like, not, like, a real-ass friend. Like, I have, like, real friendship. Like, you can overcome bullshit. But I used to be the type of friend that, like, once somebody did something to me, or, like, we got in a fight, and even if they said really mean, hateful things, like, I would be the one to, like, mend the friendship. Because I'd be like, this is stupid. Like, because I hate being in fights with people. Especially some people, like, friends that I thought were friends, but I guess they're not. But, like, for me, it's just, like, I don't know. I'm done running back to people and, like, trying to, like, fix things that, like, they clearly don't give a fuck to fix. So, whatever. And I think my transition has helped me see that. And, like... I think transitioning helped me realize my worth and, like, make me see, like, I deserve better than you. Like, I deserve better than someone's going to talk to me like shit as a friend. So, that's where I'm at right now. Um, but, yeah, so now I have to drive all the way home. It's already 1.30. And it closes at 5. But I need this done today so that I can start my job. And... So at 1.30, I 
I gotta go fucking home, get my fucking passport, drive back, sit in traffic, wait, literally wait like two hours because this fucking RMV takes forever. So wait two hours and then get my fucking shit changed. But it's honestly worth it because like I've been waiting so long for this day. Um, talk about to celebrate. <laughs> Yeah, just yesterday, I texted my friend, one of my best friends. She lost, like, she lost mad weight. She's been dieting really well. And she's kind of inspired me to, like, get a healthier lifestyle as I'm eating Taco Bell. And um, I texted her, and I was like, hey, like, what should I do to, like, tone and, like, lose weight? Now I'm fucking eating this shit. I'm like, whatever. Oh, my God. So, last night I had, like, a pretty bad date. Um... I went to this kid's house who I hung out with before and he um he like we we like started drinking he was already drunk when I got there which is really weird I got there at like six o'clock at night so I was like what the fuck so like we hung out and like who wanted to have sex and I was like no because I was like honestly like I don't want to fuck like I'm not in the mood and whatever I'm not saying I didn't want to fuck because I'm not a whore but like Cause I don't like slut shaming like that. Like if you want to have sex and you're not in a relationship, you want to have sex with somebody, fucking have sex with them. Unless they're clean, like obviously, unless they're not clean or like they're a fucking murderer. But like you know, you do you. If it's not gonna harm you, whatever. So, but I physically wasn't in the mood. But like if I was in the mood, I would have had sex with them, whatever. So, whatever. He kind of gets mad. I'm like, shut up. He was like bipolar, totally. Um, but. So yeah, that happened. And then he like, we wanted to smoke. So I was like, okay, like usually like, I, I'm not like saying like you should pay for the weed, but you should pay for half if you're gonna smoke the blunt with me. So we got like a 20 bag. I don't know. I don't like buy weed that much. So I don't know the terms. I think it's a 20 bag. But um, he was like, I was like, do you have cash? And he's like, no. And I was like, and then, like, he expected me to, like, be like, oh, I do. And I was like, were well, you going to pay for some of it? And he goes, I'll get you next time. I'm like, Ugh. oh. I'm like, bro, you're not going to be in that time. Like, fuck you. So, I mean, I did keep the weed. I was like, well, I'm keeping the weed if I'm paying for it. Like, I'm not leaving it here. And I brought it home. But I was kind of just, like, shocked. I was like... You're literally not even going to pay for, like, any of it. So, I'm smoking you up right now? Like, mm-mm. And then, I was like, okay, well, I mean, he did have me over. But, like, still. No. I don't know. I just don't get mad. That makes sense to me. Wow. I just ate this whole fucking thing. That's pretty sad. Honestly, though, usually I would, if I wasn't filming... Because I've been eating for nine minutes. I would have ate that in like three minutes. I'm the fastest eater. Like me and my dad are the fastest eaters in the world. Kind of sad. My mom's always like making fun of us. She's like, you people eat like fucking animals. I'm like, I don't know. Um, Alright. Well, I gotta go get my shit done. But I just wanted to say a little video and fucking say hello. Um... So yeah, I will like keep you guys updated on what happens with that license. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe.